Scorpio, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 11th through the 17th. I'm coming to you guys from somewhere in the mountains, Shenandoah Mountains. I'm riding all the way to the Rockies. To the Rockies. So from the East Coast all the way to Colorado. Through the mountains. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It's probably take me a little over a week. So um, you'll be getting this uh, reading whenever I, whenever I pull into a hotel here. Who knows when. <clears throat> um... The only plan I got is to ride. So guys, what's going on with your life? Huh? What's going on with your with your love life this week, Scorpio? From the 11th to the 17th of October, let's get a general overview of what Scorpio may be undergoing. This is a general reading, keep in mind, energies may be interchangeable. Take this as it resonates. Give me a general overlook. Okay. Hmm. God, all right. All right, guys, this is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> it's like someone's not interested. Someone's not interested. Someone here is. He's not interested in whatever the fuck's going on. And it doesn't look nice. You could be in a fight. You could be in a quarrel. You could be in a disagreement with someone here. You're lacking eye to eye. Seeing eye to eye. All right. And someone here is like not having it. Someone here is turning their back. And um, and the other one is still trying to fucking like bring forth this energy of spitefulness and communication backed up by that. You know what I mean? Um, what energy surrounds Scorpio's subconscious? What energy? Damn, look at that fucking backdrop. Good shit. You see that? Wow. There's a river behind me. And there's a bunch of pools. Like, nice sized pools of, of water, right? I was thinking about bathing. But I forgot my soap. I don't have any soap. And I'm not about to freeze my ass off, you know, just to rinse off with water. So, I'll go to the store. I'll find another river. Let's see, um, tell me. What energy surrounds spoke your subconscious? What's up with this goddamn queen of coins that's been making an appearance all fucking readings? Queen of coins is on your mind. Alright, tell me more. The hangman. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so... You're trying to gain a different perspective. That's what I'm saying here. Okay? It says if you're grounded, you're, f you're focusing on the material aspects of yourself. So art, you know, your health, your work, whatever the hell you do to bring yourself groundedness and stability in life seems to be where you're, you're being, you know, where you're aiming at at this time, energetically. All while trying to gain a different perspective. So, Scorpio, you do have an open mind. You do have an open mind. If you, this is you that is being shut off, you have you still have an open mind to this person okay now what is this person projecting towards scorpio what energy is this person projecting towards scorpio page of swords interesting very lightheartedly this person's curious about you this person here is wanting to collect information from a distance that's what I'm seeing here. Why? Why so? Why? Because they're interested in you. Because they're wanting some sort of companionship. Whether it's friendship, whether it's to be in good terms, whether it's actually, you know, razzle-dazzle, or whether it's just, you know, exchanging each other's cup of love and growing a situation. This person wants some sort of partnership with you. What energy is Scorpio projecting towards this person? Mm, wow. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. So, Scorpio. It seems as if you're not making much movement towards this person. But they are heavily on your mind. 
Yep, you're thinking about reconciling this. You're thinking about rebirthing this. This is where your energy is at in regards to this person. Is there forgiveness that's at stake here? Is there forgiveness that is needed? It looks like it. Now, Scorpio, what do you truly desire with this person? What do you truly desire? Ready to move on from this shit. Ready to move on from whatever the hell is holding the connection back and ready to take that leap of faith for something new, Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing. Tell me more. You're wanting a new beginning, huh? Yep. You're wanting a passionate new beginning. All right. Scorpio, I know you guys are sexual beings. And that, this is what talks to me. I mean, you know, this fucking Queen of Wands energy that you're wanting. What else is it going to tell? What else is it going to tell? You're wanting some sort of passionate energy here. You're wanting to move on from the past and jump into a fucking enthusiastic, exciting ass relationship, right? Someone here that it, that when you're walking by, they're going to fucking spank you and look at you like what? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does this person desire with Scorpio? What does this person truly desire with Scorpio? They desire Scorpio themselves. That's you right there. Queen of Cups energy. Emotional. Crybaby. Sensitive. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking shit. Scorpio, this is you. This is you. They're wanting you. They're wanting you in a position of being able to offer your love. Okay? They want you to extend that hand and that generosity and that love to them. They're wanting to have emotional exchange with you, Scorpio. Tell me more. Tell me more. I'm telling you, there's a call for balance here. There's a call for balance. This person here is wanting to share some sort of emotional exchange that's surrounded by stability, guys. Okay? <clears throat> Where will the situation be towards the end of the week? Okay. Six of Swords. Good. This is a, a you know, this is a, um, an energy of treading on troubled emotions that's moving towards peace. Tell me more. God, God, God. It still remains in thoughts. It still remains in fucking thoughts. So, you two are heavily on each other's mind. But I'm seeing a huge gap between you two. That's what I'm seeing. So where will Scorpio find themselves towards the end of the week? In the same goddamn energy they find themselves this week. Not, o not opening up. Trying to find peace within themselves. If you're trying to get away from some sort of troubled emotions. Right now, Scorpio, maybe it's not your time. Maybe it's not time to open up. Maybe it's not time to be vulnerable with whomever it is that you're dealing with. Despite the fact that you're thinking about resurrecting this relationship from the past. Maybe right now you're not in the best place and you're just, you know, withdrawn. You're withdrawn, seeking your own groundedness, seeking your own stability. That's what it looks like, guys. And it seems like your person, despite the fact that they desire this beautiful Queen of Cups and justice with you, they're appearing as a page, the Page of Swords. This is one that is at a distance. This is not one, this ain't no fucking king energy. All right. This person is not being so assertive either towards what it is that they want. They got love on the back of their mind with you, but I don't see any action being taken from them. All right, this is your weekly reading. I'll see you guys soon.